I just did my income tax and hit the print button on the program and I get a notice back from my old HP printer that you have to replace the cyan cartridge before you can do any printing now. I've got half a cartridge full of black here and I'm tired of spending a, like $100 every time you have to replace a cartridge sets in it. So I just decided to give up on it and uh, try one of these new Epson uh, ink tank type printers. Um, printer is supposed to print uh, with the included ink about 21,000 pages they say so that's probably about 10 years worth of printing for me um, so you know I had them on sale at Costco so I just ordered it online and two days later they shipped it to my house and you can see it arrived and the box was in good condition and it came with uh, oh there must be a half gallon of ink there I got them up a little bit too much but it came with plenty of refills for the ink um, probably equivalent of about 100 HP cartridges and it had some styrofoam packed around it oh they threw an extra bottle of black ink in too for being a Costco member and um, you know it was really well packed and I'm hoping that this will be my final printer solution here in the long run um, I mean we we go through hundred dollars worth of cartridges in the old HP printer in no time it seemed like and we don't do a lot of printing. I mean, my wife will print out some patterns and recipes online and stuff like that. But, you know, basically it's just every once in a while printing. And, you know, a lot of it just gets wasted cleaning the head and stuff like that, I think, with the HP. So I decided to try this. And there you can see the size of the bottles that you fill it with. And they've got a couple of years on them, so they shouldn't go bad. And they came with two of each color, uh, plus an extra black for being a Costco member. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually fill this thing up. They had all the bottles of ink sealed good in the, another package, I guess just in case they developed a leak. Or I don't know, maybe if you fly them and they get pressurized or something. So you just had to cut off that bag and just open them up now. I didn't really know what I was in for here. I was expecting to wind up making a mess before I got done, but it turned out to be a pretty clean, straightforward, easy job to fill it up. Now, this model actually has um, Ethernet and wireless built into it also, so it's pretty versatile. It's a, They call it an office quality printer, so I don't know if that means it'll last longer or what, but... To fill it up, you just have to open the top there, pick up the scanner on it, and uh, open up the uh, ink bottle. And you can see these bottles are several ounces at a time, not just a couple milliliters like the HP cartridges. And then there's a little cap that's got a seal on it on top of the tank, and you just turn it upside down, and it's kind of like a key that fits right in there to make sure you've got the right color. And just let it sit there and um, it'll stop filling once the tank is full. So you can see there it is. You can kind of see the level filling up on the front there. And it doesn't take long and, um, you know, it's no mess at all. I was ready with paper towel just in case. But basically pulled it out. No drips, no drops, nothing. Uh, and there's still some left in the bottle to uh, add later. So that's the black tank. And then the... Uh, Color cartridges are actually, tanks are actually a lot smaller. They're about half the size, it looks like. But still, they're, they're gigundous compared to what you get in one of those little cartridges that you buy for from HP. For it's, It was like um, almost $100 a set for the black and the three color cartridges for that old HP printer uh, when you add a tax to it. So, you know, this really will be a big savings, I think. So I got the... Um, the four color or the black and the three colors in there that was real easy to figure out and then you just have to I'm plugging in the um, Ethernet connection on this to use on my network um, there also is a wireless if you just you know want to use it as a wireless printer too but I'd rather have it right on the network so I can you know, print from the internet and stuff and then you uh, power it up there and there's a it, it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. I had zero issues with it. You kind of follow the on-screen menu there. Uh, about the only thing that's a, a little funky with it, it's not a touch screen. It's a, you have to use those little 
arrows and uh, buttons on the side there to to um, you know pick anything or select it or switch screen so that took me a while to get used to but basically it just um, you know you just let it start up and it runs through some preliminary setups and language and stuff and asks you a couple questions and then it actually uh, comes up to a point to update the firmware and then um, next thing you do is uh, you know you, you can I didn't let it update the firmware here I went back and did it later but um, you can update that and then it goes to a priming type cycle so there I think that's the uh, firmware screen there and you just like I said you have to use those buttons on the side it takes a little bit getting used to them but um, you know it's really no more of a pain than the old HP printer was in the end so then you you go past that and uh, go into a kind of go into a priming type cycle I think it just kind of fills up the uh, ink all the ink lines and stuff from the cartridges in there and it, that did take maybe about five or ten minutes to go through that cycle so I just walked away and uh, let it finish up and then um, time to put a little bit of paper in there and this this unit actually will hold 150 sheets um, I use mainly eight and a half by eleven and then some photo paper and it is kind of a pain to switch out because you don't have a manual feed slot but you have to uh, pull out the the letter size paper to replace it with photo paper or to replace it with the four by sixes but it does do um, borderless prints and stuff also so so I got the um, got the paper in there and then you just kind of you know watch it push the button and get the uh, the first prints that come out of it are actually uh, set up in alignment prints. Just kind of, it's like a couple prints that you have to go through and it prints out and you have to look at a pattern and see which one lines up first and best and, you know, matches best. And then you just select that and you go on and it goes on to the next screen. And eventually, uh, you know, it does basically go through and line up all the offsets or anything in the print head. So that you know that's all self-explanatory though right there on the screen as you go through and this unit actually does make just about the same amount of noise as the old HP did and um, actually it's quite a bit faster when you're printing printing out anything so you know right now with the alignment it's a little bit slow but it does it, if you're doing black and white it does print quite quickly so there's just a uh, one of the alignment sheets coming out and uh, you go through a couple stages of that to get everything set up perfectly and you know in the end it really does give nice crisp clear prints and then I'm gonna just show you there's a copier in it so it's a scanner and it's also a copy machine so you just I'm just setting in there a color uh, brochure cover just to show you how it does the color copies it does take a little bit longer to do the color copies, but you can select if you want black and white, if you want color, if you want 100% size, or you want to make it smaller. So a lot of options that you can go through and pick. And this is all, you know, you can do this without a computer hooked up to it at all. So this is real easy. You don't have to start up the computer to make copies. And uh, there you can see it. It's a little bit slow on the color copies, but they they come right out and it does do a, a really good job um, for a, you know a low-end copier and it did it did match just about all the colors except for there was a, a little bit of variation in the grays on this if you look at the look at them side by side um, everything came out good but the, the gray was just a little bit off but I'm I mean I'm real happy it was a, a good enough copy for me and then I, next it was time to set up the computer and I just uh, I didn't use the disks they give you I just went to the website and downloaded the latest drivers and installer and it actually went out found the printer and um, installed everything and you know it was really a super simple thing to set up and do and then you get that first test print out to make sure everything's working right 
and that only took a second. Then we put the apps on all the tablets, and uh, they actually were easy to install and worked good. And then I went back and I printed out all my IRS form there for my taxes. It was like 75 pages that I printed in no time whatsoever. Really, um, you know, nice, quick. I didn't have to print them all, but I just told uh, TurboTax to print all forms, and, you know, that's what I wound up with. And then here to the uh, auto feeder on top of it. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to make a copy of that one piece here. And you can you can actually auto feed, but this thing is really fidgety. You have to make sure the paper is perfectly straight in there and the, uh, the front edge of it is perfectly flat for it to work good. But, you know, if you do, do load it right and have uh, good paper, it does work good. And I think you can feed like 20 sheets at a time. So if you want to make a couple copies. And you can also scan to the cloud or you can scan to your computer or scan to your tablet and, you know, everything else. And I just took, a, put the app on my wife's tablet and printed out some pictures she had on there. And that's just plain paper and they really did come out wonderful. So, you know, in the end, it looks like it's going to be a, a big savings and uh, we'll find out how long it stands up. But just thought I'd share it with you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.